Good to have him back. And it's time for our first Frenzy Team of the Week. Elise Meneker gives the trophy to Whitefish Bay, trying to honor their head coach, who is battling the biggest opponent of his life. For the first time in 14 years, this is where head coach Jim Teachin watched Whitefish Bay play their first game of the year. He was diagnosed with brain cancer right before the start of the season. I'm going to beat this. There's no question. If there's anybody that can beat it, it's going to be him. And like their coach, Whitefish Bay is ready to beat the competition. Game one, they knocked off Brookfield Central 35-14. We're not playing for him, but when you do feel sorry for yourself, you're getting down, you're tired, look at the guy next to you and think about what your coach is going through right now. I think they took that to heart and really played every snap as hard as they could. It was comforting just to see him, you know, if you... If you score or anything like that, he'll give you a few words of advice. It was really good. I was amazed that he made it to the first game, and we're just glad that he's still there supporting us and coaching. And teaching young men about real life. These kids are great about, you know, taking care of people. So they're not learning anything from me. They are preparing, though, for one thing. Obviously knock off the evil empire, Homestead. He's the second last game of the season, so I definitely have to be back by that. I think every week we're going to go out there and take it one game at a time. And with the desire and will we have to win, I think we'll do that. Congratulations, Whitefish Bay High School. You are our frenzy team of the week. Jim is one of a kind. We're fighting for you, buddy, and a least great story back after this.